What's up guys, Sila here with TGM bringing you another guide. This guide's going to be on the Raven Lord if you didn't already guess, and in this guide I'll cover everything that you'll need to know to make grinding in PZ. So first of all what you're going to want to do is get honoured with the lower sitter. The best way to do this is grind even normal Sephic Halls or grind normal Shadow Labs. Shadow Labs does award more rep in total but does take longer so it's up to you. Once you've done them and you're honoured, come to Shatraf City and in the lower section there will be a Quartermaster for Lower Sitter and you will be able to purchase the key that unlocks the heroic difficulty for the Lower City Dungeons. Now in 4.2 I know they're removing a lot of the keys so I don't know how this will affect the keys if you'll still need to be honoured, if you'll still need to buy the key or have the key, I'm not too sure. But you might need want to wait till 4.2, it's only a week away. Once you've got the key, you come to Sephic Halls, which is in Terracar Forest, and you want to make sure it's on heroic difficulty, otherwise you won't be able to fight Anzu, and Anzu is the guy who drops a Raven Lord. The Raven Lord does have a 2% drop chance, which is pretty damn low, and I've been doing this dungeon for a long, long time, and I've not seen it drop once, along with quite a few other mounts that have been grinding for a while, but nah, I'm not going to bore you with my life story. The mount is also available from the Satchel of Exotic Mysteries, which is the Call to Arms Dungeon Finder. It's usually mainly only available to tanks, but sometimes healers and pretty much never DPS. So it's up to you, if you're a tank, you may want to grind it that way, or you may just want to do this once a day. I'd still recommend doing this once a day if you don't have the mount, because it only takes like 5 minutes and it's quicker than doing a dungeon. It does kind of suck that they remove the portals from Shatraf and Dalaran to easily get around, but you can still just take the portal from your major city to Dark Portal and fly straight to Terracar Forest. It doesn't take that long. So once you're here, I'm going to show you everything that I skipped to make the run as quick as possible. I'm not too sure if this boss is skippable. I've never tried to skip him. I usually just burst him down. As you can see, he dies pretty quick. But you might be able to go around the outskirts of the room and skip him. I'm not too sure. As I said, I've never tried. This pack here is skippable as well just by hugging the wall, hug, 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 and everything in here is skippable as well just by quitting straight through the middle. Now this guy, as you can see near the stairs, he does patrol and if you're unlucky you will pull him, pull in the whole pack. And that wind serpent is avoidable as well but I managed to pull it, I'm a noob, leave me alone. I think I avoided it as well and then went back and pulled it, I guess wind serpent must die. But meh, he dies. Now this pack here is skippable but is a pain to skip, but I get lucky here and do manage to skip it just by hugging the wall, as you can see. I thought I'd pulled it, but I didn't. I usually do end up pulling it. And these birds, I haven't found a way to skip them, but they don't exactly take long to kill anyway, so just AoE them down, pretty much any AoE class it builds, any class could AoE them down pretty easily. Everything else is skippable, just with a bit of ducking, diving, dodging and dodging more dodgy, I don't know. And then these guys I don't think are skippable, I never tend to skip them, just pull them and build up some holy power for Anzu. And there you go, now Anzu is this guy here and he looks exactly like the mount, which is pretty cool. He does go invulnerable to attacks at a certain point, it, I think it's timed, well I think it's after you hit, get him down to a certain percentage and then a couple of seconds after he goes invulnerable. Uh, like unta unattackable, Jesus Christ. Once he does go banished or whatever you want to call it, then you need to AoE down all these birds and as soon as you kill the last one he'll be attackable again. Now he will go un invulnerable to attacks again if you're not quick enough to kill him. As you see I save 3 holy power up just so I can get a nice Templar's Verdict straight into his face. I don't know what I'm doing here, bit of backpedalling for the win. Get a hammer, get an exorcism and he's dead. And once again, I get absolutely no mount. Yay, no mount. I hope this guide helps you out, and I hope you have more luck than I do. See you next time for the next guide. I've been Sila from TGN. See ya.